all right guys how you guys doing today man i literally just took a shower right now man pretty much just to pretty much uh take off all the sweat man just woke up uh couldn't sleep yesterday slept like around five in the morning probably six at most man you could tell man when you don't sleep because then you have this eye bag like when you squint like you have it right here which i mean when you get older this just gets nasty and wrinkly which a lot of people do get plastic surgery for the skin or they uplift their skin i mean my mom gave me this for costco which is the olay pro event with vitamin c a lot of people use this for older people or older gentlemen older ladies and gentlemen man uh does it work i have noticed that my mom has a better more bright and more less wrinkles on the skin i'll probably say that i noticed that on my mom even though she don't had that she don't has as many but it just depends on your genetics too you know but yeah other than that guys uh let's talk about fitness man i pretty much got here yesterday at home uh pretty much i was trying on my hair here let me let me release it because it's a little bit wet it kind of got a little bit wet so it's like there we go <laughs> uh, so i always have my hair like this man because like i don't like having it in my face so i always have it like this i mean i know it's probably a terrible probably terrible at a pretty much because I don't think is it curly and no, i think it's more like afro afro curly right now yeah i kind of messed it up because i had it wrapped up so yeah so pretty much i was having it like this i mean when it's not that hot right now it's literally hot here in los angeles but yeah i mean right now uh pretty much we went to the gym yesterday guys yesterday was pretty warm i'll probably say when biking uh pretty much got dehydrated probably quickly as most as i can I had to wear a long sleeve shirt which uh brought in i uh, took about three t-shirts not including the one i was wearing so i had already like four t-shirts those three four t-shirts were gone man i was saving one t-shirt so when i get back home like i had a fresh clean shirt you know because if you have all your shirts sweaty man it is not pleasant and you guys know this man so pretty much uh it was a quick workout man because i was like i was already dehydrated from the probably the sun it wasn't that hot but it just felt like the heat weather you know like the humidity the humidity humidity the humidity oh my god can i even say it am i saying it right i don't know but yeah uh, uh let's just call it the the human <coughs> humidity humidity because i'm saying humility <laughs> two different words man two different words the humidity <laughs> i literally just woke up <laughs> bear with me yeah so after that man I, I was already like oh my god i'm already drenched with sweat man i'm sweating uh pretty much i started with some shoulders because i was like you know what what can i do i mean the gym was pretty much already crowded so i was like all right let's see what can i do i'm like hey i found a shoulder i found some shoulder pressing so I like, it wasn't the one in the front where you go like this. It was the one in the side, how you do it in the dumbbells. So I found that one. I started with pretty much, uh, to, I, my warm up was actually, I was pretty like, oh crap. If I don't go heavy right now, I'm not gonna go heavy. So my warm up was 155 pounds. So it was pretty much the whole machine, the whole stack. Cause the whole stack is 150 and then five pounds. So I did that, I did five sets of 10 uh pretty much break it down so i was doing like two uh every so the goal is pretty much get 10 reps so my first two reps i got 10 reps straight even though it was my warm-up i was like all right push it my third set i got like eight reps and then i finished it off with two took about like 10 probably 10 10 seconds at most and then finished the last two and then my fourth rep i did seven reps i did it and then hold for like 10 seconds or 10 or 12 seconds and then did the last three while pushing hard because 155 doesn't seem i mean for me it's kind of hard but it was still the warm-up you know i'm still i'm thinking about it in my head i'm like ah oh, crap now that you think about it i'm like <clears throat> i want to stay healthy strong but it's half enough strength while losing weight you know i mean but yeah i did that and then my fourth set i got about like two i think i got six reps then i got four which was like okay I'm kind of getting fatigued already. And then I think my last set, uh, I pushed it to a limit, which was my five set of 10. I did that. I did, a, I think I did six or seven reps. And then I finished for like a double or triple just to get an extra rep. So that was 50. I was like, I could have gotten more, but I was like, that's the warm up. 
and I was like, ooh, I'm feeling this already. So the last 50 of my reps for 100 reps, I just did 100 pounds. So I was doing that. Boy, I was cast. I don't know if it's just me, but uh, comment down below, guys. For me, I feel like when I'm heavy lifting, I'm staying more tensed up and more concentrated when you're, like, you're pushing and stuff or you're pulling. And then when it comes to lightweight, it's just like, Oh, crap. Like, it goes fast, you know? But it's just because, I mean, you warmed up the muscle and then, like, dropping the weight. And then you try to do that. But uh, I noticed that in myself that when I have tendonitis, I don't like doing a whole bunch of reps because then this starts affecting it. But when it was the last 50 reps, I got one set of 20, I think, or 15, and then five. And then... I was like, all right, I got 30 left, man. I could blast it. I could do like two sets of 15 or one of 20, one of 10. I was wrong, man. I did like one of eight or seven, one of 15, one of 10. And then I finished it off, I think five to get another three extra reps, which was 103 reps. That was terrible, man. Yeah, so that was pretty much my shoulder workout, man. I mean, I started with the warm-up at 155, started strong, even though I'm like, oh, crap, that's some heavy ass, that's some heavy ass weight. Uh, I didn't want to curse. My, my apologies, man. I try to keep it clean as possible, you know, without cursing. Uh, or, and then um, I dropped the weight at 150. So uh, I did that. Get the the muscle was already warmed and pumped, you know, just get the striations in the body. It's pretty much bodybuilding, you know, just to get the shoulders moving, the blood work and everything. And I was like, oh, uh, yeah. And then I was like, all right, let me see what I'm going to do. Um, from there, I think I did after shoulders i think i did hips and glutes because it was gonna be shoulders and legs for me because I, I came biking but i was like all right i have not done my legs and then a little bit uh pretty much happy i'm start i started to get cycling legs so cycling legs is like when your legs start trimming all the fat and like your legs are getting in shape and in form but then but then your tendons like you said <coughs> Well, I'm still throwing mucus from my asthma, man. I've still got some leftover mucus. My apology from that. Yeah, so, yeah, I did hips and glutes, guys. I started pretty much, I always do hips and glutes like a pyramid. So I go one, two, three, four, five. So I warmed up, you know, I started with 130, 160, 190, 220, and then 250. Uh, Libras, uh, pounds. So, and then, uh, so uh from there i do about 20 20 20 20 20 so it's five sets of 20 you know uh but then it gets harder man if you don't take a rest break so it was hips and glutes was a warm more like a warm-up to squat or do any leg workouts but that was more like a hypertrophy you know i didn't take no rest other than when i was around already like 220 pounds to 250 pounds plus another 10 pound increase when you drop the little 10 pound that's on top and uh, yeah i mean i was already like okay that was good i was my legs and hips were uh, ready from there i did some back workouts so i did the back row machines which is separated you know because it has double cables some of them have only one where you like squeeze like that or like this but yeah i was literally explaining to someone i think my youtube comments like oh what's the difference between when you're holding it here to when you're holding it here at the bottom like when you pull and then pull here because when i feel like there's a lot of people that don't understand hand placement or well my let me rephrase this a lot of people uh know it's just a lot of people don't switch their hand placement or like oh if you want to target a specific area of the muscle group you know how you have to switch your hands pronated reverse i mean pronated overhand or reverse you know it honestly depends on you and everything so i did that that was a good workout man i got some back in there and then from there i finished it off pretty much with the leg press i was not expecting to do legs i was just gonna isolate the quadriceps and hamstrings you know isolate my muscles get those muscles moving but uh i saw the leg press and i haven't done it in a while and i'm like all right let's do the leg press i did it i mean that was pretty much my workout man because dude if you guys do like 700 
for 100 reps, which I did. That honestly took a while. Then I had like two people work out with me, which uh, uh, almost did the same weight that I did, but they had to warm up with two plates, three plates. Then they jumped to like three to five and then six. And then they stay at sixth place. So they pretty much ca caught up to me on that. But yeah, like my my goal for leg press, because I haven't done it in a while, was all right. Uh, how much is six plates on each side? Six plates times 12 times 45. So 12 times 45 plates, that's about 540. The machine, I was checking weights about 118 pounds. So that was about like 540, like about 650 something or 648. 658 or something and then if i add another 25 in the each side it's a 700 pounds i think if i'm if, if i'm uh doing my math correctly because 12 12 plates of 45 is 540 because i did that yesterday the math and then the and then 118 that's six yeah that's 658 658 so I was doing about 700 pounds, seven, 708 pounds for leg press. And I was doing that with calf raises too. Because uh, I have my uh, right side of the tore Achilles. So I was trying to get that pump on my legs and my calves. So I had to get the, like that full stretch, like that full stretch of my calf. And it was actually pretty good, man. I have not done leg press in a while that heavy. Because I mean, we're at Planet Fitness, you know. It is a, uh, uh, it is not a hardcore gym. But since we're in the hood and uh, pretty much in Los Angeles, everybody knows each other. You know, we push everybody to like, hey, let's get our workout in, man. I mean, if you know the regular people, I mean, I mean, we work hard, you know. But it's just the stigma that has Planet Fitness, you know, because other other places. But our Planet, our Planet Fitness, I feel like it's just chill and relax, you know. If you know how to pretty much, if you talk to the regulars, man, you communicate with people. I mean, you're not you're nice and friendly. Then by all means, you'll work out. You know, yeah. Just uh, pretty much any other gym environment. You know, but other than that, uh, pretty much at the seven hundred for seven hundred for legs. I was I think the first set I did twenty reps, then I went ten, 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 and then uh or ten to fifteen. I did a pretty. I was changing my leg placement. I was doing more on quads. Then I opened my legs for more on hips and glutes and hamstrings. Then I went close grip on more on pretty much on uh, stretching out my quads. So pretty much putting my foot a little bit down, doing like a close narrow stance on the leg press, get that stretch. And uh, yeah, it was pretty hard, man. I have not done that. I have not done leg uh, Stairmasters for that long period of time. So for me doing Stairmaster for 100 reps at 700 pounds and then calf races, that was pretty insane, man. So, yeah, I haven't done that in a while, but pretty good workout. I am feeling the side effects. Like, my bones on my legs feel heavy, dense, and everything's aching. So, that's the situation when you go heavy on a leg press. I know it's easy. It's it's a easier way than uh, squatting in the Smith machine or squatting in general, but it is a good leg workout if you have a back injury or you uh, messed up your spine, you know, herniated disc or a fractured disc. It's one of the safest things to do legs and you won't have to injure yourself, you know, but that's what we have available at the um, Planet Fitness, guys. I mean, it's either leg press, uh, isolating the machines like hamstrings, uh, quads, hips, and glutes, or Smith machine, which is almost the same thing as a, a squat, except without the balance, you know, you just have to go up and down, but you pretty much still getting the same work you know you're isolating and you're doing a squat but yeah that's pretty much it man see you guys around man that was a good workout yesterday uh the sun was a little pretty hot man i'm already sweating and i mean i just literally i mean i have to wrap up my hair because literally i feel the, i feel like um i'm gonna have to turn on my air right now but that's pretty much it man let me know uh how you guys do your workouts man honestly i pretty much for me it was like a kind of like a slow slow day just because i mean i was already dehydrated from biking and then had a bike back too yeah and then i was uh but then when i bike back i yeah i want to bike back i did one pokemon go raid because i was supposed to do that i was going to do the raid community events because pokemon go fest is around the corner on saturday and sunday but uh yeah i'll see you guys in a bit man uh stay great be safe and see you guys around, man. Uh, working out. Um, 
with asthma that I still have it. Look, like, like, give me a sec. <clears throat> oh, give me a sec. <clears throat> I mean, I still kind of, I'm feeling better, you know, but when I push my body to the limit, that's when I start feeling like, <clears throat> like I'm like doing that. I'm going to take my asthma inhaler. I'm going to take my nasal spray to take all the mucus and we'll see how we feel, man. But, whew, that, dude, I'm already sweating, goddamn.